Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. All right, kicking us off at number 10, we have this Easy Riders 3D Emblem t-shirt. Uh, again, I talk about this all the time. We try to limit the number of 3D emblems, but uh, uh, when we have a, a design we haven't seen before, we do include it. And this one we have not seen before. Uh, it has not made the list, and uh, as far as I know, the whole time we've done Heat Check, so uh, we're going to include it today. So uh, here we go. Pretty cool. We've got that skull uh, face motor uh, motorcyclist uh, down here. We have the Easy Riders 3D emblem. Uh, you'll see this guy, uh, this sort of uh, bone skeleton guy, on a lot of the Easy Riders stuff. Uh, there's like the they did a bunch of T-shirts with design designs like Bad to the Bone, and he's in it. Uh, but this one might be one of the first times they used it. Uh, if I were to guess. Um, this one sold just like all these other 3D emblems for a ton of money. This one sold for $1,350. Next up, we have this Daniel Johnston's Yip Jump Music album. Uh, this was apparently one of uh, Kurt Cobain's uh, favorite albums. Uh, this is pretty cool. I have never listened to him. I, I suppose I ought to. Uh, sort of singer-songwriter through the 80s and into the 90s, I believe. Uh, this one is pretty cool. This one says Summer of 1983. Um, let's take a look. Do they have size? Because this one looks like it's big. Also, that doesn't seem the right. That's not the right tag for uh, 1983. I don't think. I'm pretty confident that's not. So I don't know. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Wash once never worn. Originally given to the original owner uh, by Daniel Johnson personally. Okay. So there's a personal touch to this T-shirt. Uh, might be an, a little bit of old, uh, newer reprint, but it's still. Uh, you know, vintage, obviously. Uh, but this one sold for $1,400. Then we have a Ric Flair. Check this one out. This t-shirt super cool. Uh, one of the cooler, like, early uh, uh, wrestling tees that I've seen. Uh, let's take a look at the tag it's on. It's on a Cal Crew size medium, which probably means, like, it <laughs> feels like a small, uh, but still pretty sick. On that 50-50 Man USA, obviously. Uh, 1985 Jim Crockett promo, uh, Promotions. That design's sick. Uh, absolutely super dope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 18 across the chest. Not su no surprise there. Little discoloration. Either either way, incredible. 24 bids later. This one sold for $1,402. All right, then we have... Then next up, we... Next up, we have a vintage Marvel tee. We got the AOP all over print. Wolverine here. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen comic images tees on this list. It's like they've sort of chilled out a bit. Uh, but this one's obviously a pretty cool one to see here. Uh, definitely an incredible one and a rare one if I uh, understand correctly. Uh, I've seen a lot of comic images. I see this one very infrequently. Size XL, so it's perfect. Uh, looks like it's like in, I mean, Basically new condition. Let's see what they say. Yeah, they don't say conditions pre-owned. Not helpful. Uh, but uh, yeah, an incredible condition. Uh, beautiful T-shirt for sure. Uh, Buffalo Bills vintage. I, I assume that's this guy right here. Uh, it's being shipped out of Buffalo. But uh, Buffalo Bills vintage. If you're watching and someone ripped off your shirt, let us know. Uh, either way, uh, dope T-shirt. We haven't seen it on the list before, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this one sold for fifteen hundred dollars. Then we have the Slow Dive Slovaki T-shirt, uh, one of my favorite bands uh, for uh, definitely in the shoegaze world. Uh, but uh, this is one a design we don't see. Uh, I've never loved most shoe, uh, Slow Dive T-shirts; they're just not as cool. Uh, but this one is pretty cool. I I, I could definitely rock this. Um, pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Did they give us a picture? They don't give us a picture of the back, which you know, not a big deal. I guess there's some little discoloration there. Uh, but it's always good to have uh, multiple sizes. Uh, good condition. It says, please message me before purchasing. My guess is you might they might be trying to take it off, but take it off site, but who knows. Uh, either way, uh, this is one of my uh, favorite t-shirts on this list today. And it also sold for $1,500. Then we have the Natural Born Killers t-shirt. We haven't seen one of these on the list in a while now. Uh, and uh, the last couple that we saw sold for significantly less than uh, this one did today. But this one looks good. 
but it's on the giant by Toltex tag. Um, there's the nine inch nails, Raging Machine, Larry Cohen, L7. Uh, super sick t shirt. Uh, definitely one of the, like, in my opinion, probably one of the best on giant tags and a great, you know, 90s t shirt. Uh, so sick. This one looks like it's in incredible condition. This is coming out of Sweden. Uh, it just says Grail. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is a Grail. And uh, they got a Grail price for it, too. Uh, this one sold for $1,920. Then another Marvel Comic Images t-shirt. This is another design we have not yet seen. We got Doom 2099. Uh, super sick. Uh, super cool t-shirt here. Uh, smaller graphic in general. Let's see. Is this on like one of the more mid-90s ones? 93? Let's see the tag. No, it's same same era. I've never seen this design, and it certainly hasn't made the list before. Uh, but obviously, we had some serious competition here. 50 bids, and there were 11 bidders on this one. So that's pretty wild. Clearly a rare t-shirt that people are trying to get their hands on. Uh, after 50 bids, this one did sell for $1,950. Then here's another really cool one. This is the vintage 1960s Fillmore East Farewell Final Concert Crew t-shirt. Uh, the Fillmore East was a music venue from like I think 69 to 71. So this is probably not from the 60s. The T-shirt might technically be from the 60s, but I think their last show was in 71. Uh, I don't know who played it. Uh, there is a hole in this one, but this is so cool. The farewell graphic on the back, uh, definitely cool. Let's see if they tell us on the Allison tag. Uh, definitely an old T-shirt. Uh, they don't give us any information about it. It'd be cool to know who played that show. Um, but uh, Fillmore East, uh, cool spot, uh, apparently. But it did not last very long. The uh, I think it was like owned by Bill Gra uh, Graham, Grantham, Graham, Graham. I think it's Bill Graham, and uh, who did a lot of shows. Uh, but this one's super cool. This one sold for one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Got exactly what they were asking for. Then at number two. Yep, it's the Deftones Around the Fur. We're going to have to have some conversations about Deftones tees. Uh, probably going to do a special on them and try to do a little bit of a deep dive here. And uh, uh, these t-shirts just keep going for crazy amounts of money. I get it, Deftones are kind of back in style here. Um, this one's uh, obviously a quintessential. It's on that you know giant tag, the El Salvador tag, that I don't really love. Um, uh, but I, haven't, I don't know if I've ever seen any fakes on this tag. I'd have to talk to Defunct and ask those guys what they think. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I mean, looks fine to me. Looks like a lot of the other ones I've seen. I think there's other versions of this on a different tag as well. But uh, still, incredible sale right here. Obviously, Deftones are peaking right now. Uh, or maybe they're on their way to peak. Maybe they're past peak. I don't know. But this one sold for then at number one, we have Alice in Chains, another band that is like hot, hot right now. 1990s, this is the hot, sweaty bodies in a steaming, humping mass. I'm not going to zoom up on the graphic because I do not want to get uh, demonetized, but just uh, just use your imaginations. I'll skip through some of these here. Uh, here we got Alice in effing chains on the back. So yeah, definitely a crazy t-shirt and I believe a pretty rare one. Uh, in terms of uh, availability, doesn't come up very often. Uh, Rock Memory Seattle, it was selling it, and uh, they had it up for eight grand. Uh, they didn't get eight grand, but they did just fine. Let's take a look. Size tag is gone, but they say it's an XL. Uh, chest is 25 inches. That's probably double XL at least, uh, maybe more than that. Uh, let's see. Nice original. Yep, 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 yep. yep. All this stuff, really cool. Uh, this is a pre-owned shirt, but yeah, so great. Definitely a super cool t-shirt, rare t-shirt as well. Uh, this one sold for $3,000 for the number one spot on this week's Heat Check. Uh, we will see you guys again next time where we'll see some even more crazier t-shirts. Remember to visit the defunct.com forums for a fun and friendly vintage t-shirt community. Whether it's price checks or authentication, they can help you out.